mind the drips on my shirt obviously i just wet it and i didn't even think that part through like literally it looks crazy but anyways i wanted to come back and let y'all know about this amazing product before i get into that let's get very technical about how i have been making huge huge choices for my family as far as our um health and a few of the things that i have done is i've started to do a lot more research i have pretty much changed all the girls snacks to completely vegan plant-based organic all of that we've already been pretty much a healthy family but we have went off the deep end quite a few times and we have not been as mindful and i can tell and like my everyday like being groggy and lethargic and you already know bloating all of that fatigue all those things play a part with what you are digesting. So I changed all the girls' snacks. I've been really, really mindful. A lot of the food products that we used to consume, I don't purchase anymore. I've changed the storage, y'all. Y'all already know I've been changing the stores that I shop at. And one of the most exciting things that I've been doing is juicing. I've taken you guys along a part of that journey to see how the juicing thing works. And I, 10 out of 10, y'all, recommend. But another thing that I wanted to share with you guys is this amazing product right here by the name of Colon Broom. So if you are eating all of the right foods and um, exercising and being very cognizant of your water intake, you definitely wanna make sure that you are still treating your digestive system. And I really, really like that about Colon Bloom because this is a dietary supplement and it helps so much with your gut like especially me y'all first of all y'all be trying me all the time but look at this y'all see this now obviously i have diastasis recti so if you have not been following me after i had the twins my abs separated unfortunately so there's like a huge separation in my abs with which makes my abs like poke out because of that separation and the only way to correct it is surgically yes you can exercise yes you can try your best to like close the gap which i have and do a few like um non-invasive procedures which i have however the ab the separation is going to still be there i'll have diastasis for the rest of my life unless i get a tummy tuck which is extremely invasive and i don't want to do that so um, one of the things, like I said, that has been helping me is having my colon room because it helps to monitor um, my bloating. And whenever I know your girl's about to go out, I want to be looking fine. I want to be looking fit. I make sure I have my colon room. So let me show y'all how those work. This is the strawberry. Hold on. I don't want nothing falling over y'all. So this works as a prebiotic and nourishes your gut health and the bacteria. Can y'all see on the inside? It also lowers the risk of the diabetes, helps stay regular, redu reduces the bloating and digestion. Just so many different things, y'all. So what I'm gonna do right here, got a nice little scooper, and all you need is one scoop. Y'all see this? One scoop. You put this in your glass of water, like so. Ooh. So I'm gonna show y'all. So I don't want it to spill over. So I'll do it like that. It's like, and like I said, this is strawberry. Let me pull y'all up. And then we're going to taste this. Actually, I'm gonna drink the whole thing. It literally tastes like a very subtle strawberry lemonade without the lemon effect but it has that it doesn't taste like watered down like watered down juice like it actually tastes really good it has a really 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 nice taste so y'all i'm gonna finish this but i'm just letting you know go to my description box if you have had any everybody needs to be going to my description box because you do not want to have long-term health effects negatively because of the things that you do now. You wanna make sure you are planning for your future, your long-term future, and you are actually training your organs to still function years, decades, 
from now. Um, so like I said, I'll have everything you guys need in the description box, coupon code, all of that. I love this stuff, definitely a must. I will continue to use this. Like I have tried so many different powder, colon, um, dietary supplements and this one is flavor wise, absolutely amazing and how it helps me to function I love it. So go ahead and check it out, y'all, and I'll see y'all. But I would say go and experience it, and as you continue to grow in your business, if you know that shifts, and hopefully you'll build the the bigger business that you want it to be. Because now, so best of luck to you. Okay, thank you so very much. Have a good one, and I'll chat with you later. Okay, thank you so much. Uh huh. You're welcome. Bye bye. Okay. Oh my gosh, y'all. So I was listening to gospel and literally it's crazy. I was listening to gospel and then my broker called. Um, and then in the middle of that, another office called and now I gotta have another breakup session. It's like my nerves are just really bad right now. My anxiety is. Hey guys, good morning. So I'm on my way to my new office to have our first team meeting. I am a part of a real estate team now. Um, I'm so excited. It's been a really, really stressful week. Um, my computer is it's still in the shop. Well, it's actually physically not in the shop. She ordered the part. It should be here today. And Jeremy's going to take it to the shop for me while I'm at my meeting to get it fixed. So, anyways, y'all, my hair finally looks really good. I have been trying so hard for these last few days to get this wig right. I washed it, conditioned it, and then I literally put it on my floor vent um, in the dining room all night long and it achieved this and then I lightly glued it down so I can take it off at night and continue to oil my scalp. But um, yes, I really like this because I had to film a tick, I mean, a, not a TikTok, a reel. Um, and I brought two extra outfits, y'all, to film this reel at my new office because the aesthetics is really, 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 really nice. Nice upscale, modern building, all of that. So I felt like I'll just get content. The office is like literally much further than I would have cared for it to be. But to be honest, I am okay with it. I'm, t I'm totally okay with it. You, as real estate, real estate agents, we are independent contractors, so we're not mandated to be in the office whatsoever. However, since I am on a team, I was not on a team at Keller Williams. I, I'm so, like y'all, it has been like really, really emotional, but I'm still so grateful because we're here. Uh, my license has officially been switched over and I will share who I'm with when I get to the office. Um, I actually will probably do a sit down video. Y'all probably don't care because none of y'all you know, are all over. Y'all probably, I don't know who, who may or may not be trying to get their real estate license, but the, um, even some of the tips and information that I can give you guys, um, I think will benefit you no matter what state you're in. Um, and then I'll be going over like the pros and the cons of Keller Williams to the, even though I literally just switched over, but there's already so many different pros. That's exactly why I switched over. And then another brokerage was in, like I told you guys the other day I was in a meeting, but the, actually I was in a meeting doing another interview for another brokerage, but I just didn't want to put that out there until I really switched over. Cause this has been a very stressful time, but the, the deal has been done and I am here and I'm so excited. Like y'all, I'm so happy with this hair. Like I've been running away, y'all should have seen me. I've been running away from this week. It has been stressing me out all week long. Like I have not been able to achieve the look I really wanted until today. But anyways, um, I'm excited. I'm really excited. It's 9.09, the meeting starts at 9.30 and I won't be there at 9.30. Um, and I have not met the other members. I've met our lead of course, because she had to a lot need to be a part of her team and we are a great fit so far i don't know if you guys will know her she's one of the top real estate agents in georgia so i am honored her the entire team is actually they are amazing but um so i'm so honored the little old me like they felt like i would be an asset with well, a team the team lead because she's the one who decides who's on her team but the team lead felt like i could be an asset to the team um at such a young like an early part of my career um and yeah i'm so honored so so much to learn from them so many things to come with my career in real estate. i've been able to maintain 
my promise to the girls. Jory is literally like a little date. So my, I'm cold, so I had to give her my jacket. Hey, sweet girl. Hey, mama, you so pretty. You so sweet. So, wait, is this something in my hair? What's going on? But anyways, so Journey and Jai, Jai over there. <laughs> they got my iPad, and we're eating the bread. The bread is good. So we are at Outback Steakhouse. Um, I'm a little nervous about their kids menu, so I'm gonna order the girls an actual adult plate. So I'm gonna do them the Tasmanian shrimp and lobster pasta, and then let them split that because me and Babe really want to try that. So they're obviously not gonna finish the whole thing. So we'll both be able to like sample a little bit of it. And then I got, I saw this was like popular, the loaded blooming onion, but I really wanted to try the steak dip, the steak um, loaded dip. So we're gonna try that. I'll show y'all what that looks like. And I'm still trying to figure out what I'm gonna eat. I don't know, I kind of think I may get a steak. I think I may get a steak. But I got that steak dip. Damn, I should've just got the onion. Get it, baby. Go ahead, get the bread. Y'all, oh well, I guess I'll still eat the actual steak. Y'all, this man has brought us all these extra dang on chips talking about he don't want me to um, um, be worried. I said, this is a lot of um, chips. Anyways, this is how the steak dip looks. I end up ordering the steak, but. You want some of my salad? Okay. Y'all don't want to taste the dip. This is what we're supposed to be sharing. Mmm. Mmm. You want some of that dip? You want some of that dip, baby? You want what, chips? Mmm. Y'all, they didn't tore all that bread up. They ate both loaves of bread. I had two pieces. Okay, y'all, so this is my food. The baked potato, um, I mean, I guess it has that effect on the, the skin of the potato, but not really, but we'll see what it tastes like. Um, I'm a little nervous. That's the pasta. So I just gave them a little bit, because they ate all their bread, and they ate a lot of the dip in the chip. So we're gonna just start off. Don't forget to use your fork, mama. Use your napkin. Y'all, eat y'all's pasta, angels, or we're not getting no surprise. Eat your pasta. Okay. Hey y'all, so I am, y'all, real estate. It's always impromptu. My clients have been looking for their dream home, the perfect area and the perfect price point. By this point, y'all already know I have left Keller Williams. A follow-up video will come, um, but um, one of my colleagues, I guess you can call her a colleague, um, at my former office, Keller, um, had a listing and literally it fits all criteria that my clients are interested in. I'm so excited, y'all. So I just got here. I actually met the homeowners there on the way to church. They were really, really nice people and they were able to give me some details about the neighbors, all that other good stuff. So I'm about to just go through, turn on all the lights. We have two houses that I'm showing, um, only two minutes away um, and 10 minutes away from the girls to cheer. So I was able to drop the girls off that chair. They have, um, not camp, but um, what is it? Uh, uh, choreography camp, pretty much. So dropped them off, came here. Okay guys, I'm done showing the houses. Daddy, daddy. daddy. <laughs> Jory, that ain't daddy. Mm. Remember we just dropped daddy off. Drop daddy off. Yay. So Bay was with us and then he figured out that I was going shopping. He told me to take him back to the house. <laughs> I tricked daddy. Mm, daddy. I tricked daddy. He said he don't want no parts of it. So I had to take him back to the house. But so the girls got out at once. So he came with us. I was like, well, we're gonna, I'm gonna go pick up the girls and then we're gonna go shopping. But um, we we're gonna go to Target, Old Navy, and then I think I may go into Bath and Body Works. <laughs> oh, look at them flipping in there. I didn't want to bring, like, bring my car all the way up because there's like full glass myself in too close Mommy. and then the girls because they know how our car looks so i didn't want to girl what you doing inside my thing i know i smell something what are you doing inside of mommy's purse y'all so i'll be writing offers when i get back home if y'all are looking for um like the subdivision that we went in to look at houses they had like so many houses and i had to look them up for my clients 
and I was looking at the prices they are a great price point um and the pictures look really really good y'all so please 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 actually i got a new lender on my team who is a miracle worker like literally a miracle worker so please please hit me up y'all i want to get everybody who's watching this into a home and i currently have a client who is in ohio mm -hmm. and i have a client that's in texas so i work with the clients all over don't worry about if you are in georgia i can work with you all over I just have a, a showing assistant actually physically take you to the properties, but I can still oversee everything and help you. <laughs> oh, put that top back on there. Let's say mama, give me my mommy kiss. What you was doing with daddy earlier? I play with daddy. You play with daddy while mommy was showing houses? What y'all play? I gotta take their hair out this week, y'all. And we gonna, um, Oh shoot, we're gonna take the hair out. I'm trying to time it, time it at the right time because we're leaving for a week. Oh, hold on, there's another. Hello? Hey girl, yeah, did you get my message? No, I'm driving. Oh yeah, well I was saying that I was writing the offer up. What'd you say, Journey? I make a good lunch? Yeah. <laughs> Who told you that? Are y'all sharing with Jory? I make a good lunch. Who told y'all that? No one. Oh, you just made it up on your own. Thank y'all, babies. You're gonna have even better lunches when y'all start school. But, so, y'all heard it here first. The girls, I had to pick lunches for these last two days for that choreography camp. Did y'all do good with camp? Well, she said y'all did good today. Jai's cartwheel is getting even stronger. Journey, they, so we figured out what the delay was with Journey. All the coaches who were training their tumbling didn't know Journey is left-handed. So she's getting, she was getting confused with which leg to start with um, because a few of them were training her the regular way, which is right leg. And then if one of them didn't know she was left leg. Um, I mean, left-handed. So they were already starting her with her left leg. So, um, they said that she's so close like everybody's on the same page and she's so close so i'm so excited i will be bragging about my journey being and showing her off as soon as she gets her cartwheel as well but she is so tight and so crisp with her jumps now with her roll like she's so good the whole team is the, the whole squad as a whole i don't like that the entire team <laughs> um is really really good so they just you done with the water okay give back to jaya so now we're going shopping, which y'all please give me all these damn stores. I don't know why. Like I do this to myself, but I wanted to go get them. Mm-hmm. Mommy showed the houses earlier today. Um, when I get home, I'm gonna relax for the rest of the day because I have extremely busy real estate week. Extremely, extremely busy. Since I switched over, I do have to now go into the office once a week, and then we have some other real estate content. I have real, I have clients that I got to show stuff to. Y'all, I'm outside of my hair salon. Oh, this hair. Hold on, let me go out to the light. My stylist probably looks at this mirror like, where Keisha going? Look at my hair, y'all. The light is not on my side too much. Hold on. Kinda, now it's kind of washing me out. Anyways, y'all, my hair looks so good. It looks so good. I'm getting braids for Jory's birthday trip. So, but I have like two more wigs I gotta get through before the trip. Um, but this hair is so long. I gotta go to the tag office, y'all. This hair is so long. It looks so pretty. It looks so pretty. Y'all, I had to block a few people today because y'all was getting on my nerves. Why do y'all get on my why do y'all get on my videos and get on my nerves? Um, why are you coming down this one-way street? Oh. Well, you still not supposed to be coming down a one-way street. Like if an officer was right there, they would have got arrested. Like this is this type of truck. Right here. It's traffic goes this way. Look and look at them. Look at them. Like, do y'all see this foolish? This is how accidents happen. First of all, people lack no patience. Patience is a virtue. People lack no patience. This is what I teach my daughters, and grown people don't even realize that. Just don't jolting out. But anyways, that truck that I showed you, they came out of there first and was coming down this way and went into there to turn and do a little U-turn. 
the office right there immediate ticket immediate ticket because like what are you doing anyways y'all back to what i was saying i had to, i had to block a few people because sometimes i'll be letting y'all get y'all opinions out but then i have to like shut y'all all the way down when y'all be getting on my nerves and i don't even get into like i don't even get into let me figure out where this tag office is at I don't even get into the foolishness because overall like i just have a positive platform i don't even vlog or upload as much like y'all not even really a part. like half the time stuff is like old or you know days and days ago so y'all are seeing it way after the fact shout out to my let me before before i get into what i'm about to say shout out to what's this calling y'all i've been literally handling business the whole time I was in there i can't get a break oh they hung up anyways um Shout out to my my supporters who 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 watches the support. Cause some of y'all is not watching the support. It's like y'all looking for something. How the hell in my last video did I share a positive moment about someone deciding to be generous enough to be generous enough to pay the tab when I went to is it called bills? I, bills bills. Y'all corrected me a long time ago and I can't remember what it was because I only been there one time since which is in the last vlog. And the cashier had decided, y'all coming in my comments talking about, oh, it's going over your head, sis. They thought you were a single mom struggling. Look how you, what you were wearing. You're supposed to be business professional. Like it's given like hater. Like it's literally given hater. Like first of all, I don't even gotta give all explicit details, but this is just for the people in the back who always got something to say. Because someone is wearing a crop top and shorts does not give off broke. I had on Gucci slides, a Christian um, Louboutin bag, and I pulled out a Louis Vuitton wallet to check out of my transaction. I'm pretty sure that's not giving broke. Like, because I was also not dressed to go run errands. I was literally taking my princesses to go have breakfast at um, IHOP, and at the spur of the moment, I decided, oh, let me go handle some quick look errands and go get some things for the house. I I don't even have to explain myself, but it's so funny because it was so many people trying to discredit the lady's blessing. Like, oh, why would you take something from someone? You probably make more money than her. I give out free wigs every day since the last however long. Like free wigs, I'm just giving out free wigs. Furthermore, if y'all don't even see me give out the wig for that week, nine times out of ten, someone has personally messaged me something asking for the wig specifically, and I'm nice enough to just give. And I'm not asking any one of y'all to comment and defend because you don't, you don't got to put your business out there to say who you were. People send me their stories all the time about they, they need to pay this, they need to pay that. I've been going back to church. I've been tithing. I've been giving back. God just decided, I'm going to bless you, sis. I'm going to bless you. Like kids are kids like someone also said oh get your kids under control like she probably thought you like look at the manner of your kids <laughs> i sometimes have to sit back and be like who's watching me out there because this should not even be like my thought process of seeing somebody describe a blessing like that wouldn't be to try to bash them like oh you they they were trying to like they probably thought less of you and like I don't I'm not even a flashy person y'all with my designer like there's designer on me all the time I'm not a flashy person I'm not bragging about what I have and the material items that I have maybe the girl just won the lottery and she wanted to give back or maybe she saw my daughters which plenty of people see my daughters all the time and wanted to just do something nice like just because she worked where she worked does not mean she's broke um does, don't count my paycheck to figure out how much i'm making and how little someone else is making because imagine me coming on my blog saying something like a comment like that or putting her down because of where she worked then y'all will be at my neck but y'all decide to go put the girl down y'all don't know what her financial status is for her to be able to give 120 dollars Y'all don't know what her financial status is. Like, get over y'all selves with that negativity. You got to go. I got to block you every single time. Like I said, I tried to give y'all an opportunity, but y'all really trying to convince me I don't deserve a blessing or, like, would it have made a difference if I was in a business suit? If I would have told y'all this happened and I was in a business suit. Shout out to the employee at the bills, bills who decided to be a blessing because I really appreciated it. I'm pretty sure she did not think of me as a struggling mother. 
I'm pretty sure she wanted to do something nice and I'm not going to count her pockets to say oh or, or feel like I said I looked at that moment because typically I don't even take blessings or stuff like that if people offer to do stuff like I just I just don't even do that I was just sharing a video and telling a blessing that happened to me that day which I'm able to publicly speak about and y'all asses wanted to make it negative and y'all love this right now y'all in y'all group chats talking about go look at Keisha's vlog and yes go look at it because I'm gonna keep monetizing all Y'all think y'all about to get a surprise? Yeah. Why you do that to wash Why you got to go? We have to go out of town, so we have to time all of our hair appointments. And this week is your hair appointment. Today. Today, are we going to go? Are we going to go in the car and do it? No, girl. You got to do it right here. Like you always do. No, I want to do it in the car. I'm gonna do what in the car? Um, yeah. Why y'all gotta touch something when y'all see it? Just let, let it be. Why do you wanna get in there? We'll get in, baby. <laughs> Ouch, Jory. Johnny, get off Jory's head like that. I live in Jayashi. She can't see, but y'all gotta push Joy's hair like that. <laughs> but Joy is tall, and Jaya is shorter. No, Jaya is definitely taller than Jory. No, I'm taller. <laughs> I'm the oldest one. I know you're the oldest. Mommy, who's tall? <laughs> mommy, who is tall? Both of you is taller. As far as for your age, you both are tall for your age. Every, all three of you guys are tall for your age. Why? Because daddy is six foot five, mommy's four eleven. Mom, mommy. Hmm. Look, I'm reaching journey ahead to her head. Mm hmm. Let Jory in. Let Jory in. Careful. Take it out. No, no, no. Do something. Go. Say, hey, no. A people. Journey, hold your hand. No, hold your hand. And each people get them hand backwards. Each person. Each person. Each person get them hands backwards. Now. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Careful. Yeah, I'm home. 